This is Lucifera. And this is Shindo. Today we'll be discussing Gnostic Luciferianism and how the Christian Church looks at Gnostic Luciferianism today. In the handout that we gave in the first meeting of the House of Hillel, part of it says, we stand in opposition of the Christian Church and the distortion of the archetype of, quote, Lucifer, quote, Satan, and Christ, quote, unquote, and offer a meeting place for those who see that we as Luciferians have been improperly vilified. This video and the meetup of the House of Hillel will be about how the Christian Church is vilifying Gnostic Luciferianism and how we as Gnostic Luciferians stand in opposition to that church. Whether you like this or not, the truth of the matter is the Christians perceive us as their enemy. And this video is to show you, to demonstrate to you just how extensively the Christian Church is vilifying Gnostic Luciferians. Of course, individual Christians that you speak to are not going to be aware of most of this. And if they were aware of what Gnostic Luciferianism and our personal community, that is the House of Hillel, most Christians would not be against what we have uh, what we say and what we're about. However, what we say and what we are about is being distorted by many Christians, mostly, of course, online, on the internet, on YouTube. There is a, an extensive following that is growing that is against anything that Gnostic Luciferians stand for. So, as I say, we stand in opposition to the Christian Church. The difference between Gnostic Luciferianism and the Church, the Church keeps you enslaved, enslaves your mind, you're shackled, they, all, they, they focus on dumbing you down. Gnostic Luciferianism is about breaking the chains that bind, freeing your freeing your uh, mind and uh, soaring, ascending, becoming God. How would you define Gnostic Luciferianism, Lucy? Starting with the word Lucifer. Lucifer is morning star in Latin, light bearer. And so it is that flame of knowledge, the flame of wisdom within. And Gnosis is knowledge, so you are going within yourself and exploring the, the star within, that light, and exploring the divine within. Yes, I'll just add that Gnostic Luciferianism is sort of salvation through Gnosis, which is knowledge, which is knowledge oneself, and knowledge of that Self is the knowledge of that God within you. To start with the Christian church and how they are against Gnosis, against the Gnostic church, let's start with the, the big one, the Roman Catholic Church, and let's start with the Pope himself and what he has said recently about Gnosticism. Let's start with the top of the anti-Gnostic movement, the very tippy top, the Pope himself. It's no surprise that the Pope would come out speaking up against Gnosticism, since historically the Catholic Church has been against Gnosticism from its inception, the inception of the Catholic Church, that is, since it was incepted after the advent of Gnosticism. As they have been, they are fully aware today 
of what Gnosticism is all about, and they are fully aware of what a danger it is to them and their power structure. Of course, Gnosticism teaches that you yourself are God and that you don't need any book or any priest to tell you how to speak to God any more than you know, you know, how to. You need someone to teach you to how to speak to yourself. But the Pope has remarked on Gnosticism in its modern form. And this comes from the America, the National Catholic Review. It's their magazine. Pope Francis calls the Italian church to radical renewal. This is November 10th, 2015. At the end of this article, he warns the Italian, the Italian church against, quote, two temptations. The first temptation is called Pelagian, which is also an ancient order of Christian believers, which I won't get into. He lays out what he's referring to when it comes to Gnosticism later in the article. Then speaking of the second temptation, I am reading directly from the article. Then speaking of the second temptation, which he identified as Gnosticism, quote unquote, Francis said this leads to, quote, trusting in clear logical reasoning, unquote, which, quote, looses the tenderness of the flesh of the brother, unquote. The fascination of Gnosticism, he says, is that of a, quote, a purely subjective faith whose only interest is a certain experience or set of ideas and bits of information which are meant to console and enlighten, but, but which ultimately keep one imprisoned in his or her own thoughts and feelings, unquote. The Joy of the Gospel, number 94. He explained the difference between every form of Gnosticism and Christianity is to be found in the mystery of the incarnation of God who became man. Quote, quote, not to bring the word of God into practice, not to bring it to reality, means to build on sand, to remain in pure ideas, and to degenerate into intimacies that bear no fruit because they make it dynism, he, unquote, he said. So what the Pope basically is saying is that if you practice Gnosticism, you are a degenerate, a degenerate that dwells into intimacies that bear no fruit. So, from its history till today, the Catholic Church is very overtly against Gnosticism. The Catholic Church, as well as all the other Protestant churches, the Whore and the Harlot Daughters of the Whore. But of course, the Catholic Church is not the only ones who are overtly speaking out against Gnosticism. What they're referring to as Gnostic Luciferianism, they lump in with the basic Satanic Church. They see no distinction between the two, yet the ones who actually do understand this do show the distinctions and then turn around and say that the distinctions are a lie. They go out of their way to cast us in a negative light. The first videos we'd like to show you are actually directed at the Greater Church of Lucifer that has opened up uh, just outside of Houston, Texas. The Greater Church of Lucifer and the House of Hillel have some doctrinal differences, but as far as the outside world is concerned, as far as Christians are concerned, there's no difference between the Greater Church of Lucifer 
and the Church of Satan and a Gnostic Luciferian. In this first video, you will see Catholic protesters protesting against the Greater Church of Lucifer. In the description below, the captions below, you will see how many views this video has and how many subscribers this channel has. We will be doing that for each and every one of the videos that we put up so that people can know just extensively the Christian church and these Christians on YouTube are coming out against Luciferianism. As you can see right here at the very beginning, battle against Lucifer in Texas. They see this as a battle, folks, even if we Luciferians don't. And uh, America is one nation under God, so uh, tell us what you think about that as, as far as this place is concerned. It's all about darkness, nothing about God. Christ came to give life and give it abundantly, right? Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Nothing about the devil that gives life, nothing gives joy, nothing, right? He comes to kill and to lie to our kids and have, once they're lost, buying them lies to take their souls. And we were all born for much better than that. Here you have all kinds of people outside of the Luciferian church protesting and it says pro-Luciferians harass Christians with a bit of incense. One Luciferian woman coming out there with incense is harassing Christians as opposed to the number of Christians who are standing outside of their church trying to uh, bar Luciferians from going inside their own church. We are motivated by our love of God. Lucifer did not pass the test. His battle cry was, I will not serve. And he took a third of the angels with him. St. Michael rallied the other two thirds under the battle cry of who is like unto God, Michael. I found out a few days ago that this, uh, the Greater Church of Lucifer was opening their first church here in Spring. It's just a few minutes away from where I live. And, uh, I just think it's, I, I just think it needs to be protest because it's very evil. You know, God is one we should worship and, uh, and, and Satan is a liar. And I don't think we should have this in our community. The majority of people now declare themselves non-religious whatsoever. So they see this as an opportunity and we need to stand and fight back. Not many of these people, I've been talking to some of them that live around here and they didn't know about this. And I asked them right in front, which place, which side did you take? Satan's or God? And some of them, amazingly, they kind of wonder a little bit, right? This is a great evil, brings great evils into the community. I am from Tomball, about seven miles from here. And I became aware of this a couple of weeks ago and we were appalled. And a lot of people have told me that they wanted to come out, but they felt like they would stay at home and pray. But I'm out here because I feel like we need to be at the place where the evil has taken place. America needs to stay with God and not lose our moral integrity by bending over and bowing down to the false gods of Lucifer. So we need to band together. And I'm so proud that there's so many folks who care and came from so far. Hi everybody, welcome to the Truth and Never Sleeps here on YouTube. This video starts with a prayer, a prayer for protection against the evil Luciferians who are supposedly going to come against him because he's exposing the evil of the Luciferian church. Again, this one is also about the greater church of Lucifer. of protection by the Heavenly Father, God Almighty. So let me say this prayer right now. Dear Heavenly Father, please protect every viewer that is watching this right now. Open up their eyes to the truth on what's going on, how occult and satanic this agenda truly is that's going across America, growing across the world into the satanic new world order, Father God. So please protect us and we pray for the people that are opening up these satanic churches that your Holy Spirit may touch them and show them 
them that it is not right and let them turn away from their dark satanic ideologies and their sin in the name of Jesus we pray amen so this is going to be a powerful video again it's going to prove without a shadow of a doubt the occult satanic agenda even in an old small town in Springs Texas the Church of Lucifer opens up this month and it's going to actually open up the 30th and it's no surprise that it's going to open up the 30th because on the 31st is what yes october 31st is again halloween which is one of the most occult satanic holidays on the calendar where they do blood sacrifices and this church will be open on the 30th at midnight they'll probably have a satanic mass and uh, it's, it's very evil and it's scary, but this is what is happening. Again, the church that will soon be opening its doors isn't any old church. It's the greater church of Lucifer. And it will open up its doors uh, right down the street from Christian churches, antique stores, and flower shops. But, you know, and these people are promoting, again, the Luciferian uh, doctrine, do art thou will. And this is all from the pits of hell, folks, right down in Middletown, America, in Texas. And it's, it's just bringing in this demonic, dark, satanic force. Just looking at the, uh, the logo, we see all the occult symbolism. We see the, the all-seeing eye that the Freemasons use, uh, the eye of Horus. As you can tell from the histrionics of this man, the Christians are, well, terrified of the idea that their children might actually hear another version of this archetype of Lucifer than the one that they've been indoctrinated to believe through the Christian church. There are many YouTube videos on the Greater Church of Lucifer, and many other Christians are having a fit about it. It's not difficult for you to find these for yourselves. There's so many of them that I can't possibly show them all, but in each and every one of them that is put up by the Christians, they're, of course, having a huge fit. They're not just saying, oh, well, these people have their own beliefs and they're different than ours, so we, we should feel that they should allow them their First Amendment rights, which is the freedom of religion. They don't believe that. This next video coming up, you will sh we will show you the Christian viewpoint of what Gnostic Luciferianism believe. Now, you can find these videos for yourself, Gnostic Luciferian Exposed, things like that. Type that into YouTube and you'll see these for yourself. The snake that giveth knowledge, the spirit said, to worship me take wine and strange drugs, whereof I will tell my prophet. Falling on precisely the wrong side of the Bible's account concerning the fall of man and Satan's role. This snake spirit begins the revelation by telling man that he is a god, that reality is essentially an illusion, sin a myth, and that ethically there's no greater commandment than the law of Philema, Greek for will, as famously stated in the 40th verse of chapter 1. Do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. These next videos are Alex Jones. These are on Alex Jones' channel. And these were found by me simply by going on the Alex Jones channel and typing in Gnostic Luciferianism. This man reaches an audience of millions of people a day. So this is not a lightweight man. This is what he has to say about Luciferianism. And the last hundred years at least that run the planet, uh, that the British royal family are really Transylvanian, uh, that they're a bunch of uh, body part eaters, and, and now that's come out in the news, that they're not hundreds of years ago, but even more recently, uh, eating human body parts, uh, that they have uh, attendants that, that, that take care of their every intimate detail, uh, and that they're into all sorts of sick behavior. I'm sure nowadays somebody can dig it out. I saw it on PBS they did 24-hour broadcast uh, from the Great Pyramid, and they had all this weird rituals going on, and 
they, they dialed to French TV and, and a national concert there where the guy in French was saying, oh, Lucifer, we love you. And I'm sitting there watching this as they went with, I mean, weird devil worship right on television. I mean, it was bizarre. But uh, so you can say all this is silly and stupid until you've been to Bohemian Grove or until you watch the footage ABC News got of Skull and Bones. They're taking it deadly serious when they were worshiping Lucifer and doing mock human sacrifices. ABC News videotaped that. The most powerful secret society in the United States, undoubtedly Skull and Bones, that is just a chapter of the Illuminati. And they themselves admit that. And then I snuck into Bohemian Grove, which is a larger recruiting arm of that, and watched them do their ritual to Moloch and, 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 and to do a mock human sacrifice of a child. They claim it was mock. And the old men were in rapture and were grinding their teeth in religious exaltation. It was similar to being in a, you know, uh, Baptist church when the preacher's praying for somebody who's sick in the congregation, but the opposite. It was similar, but the opposite. You know, that, again, deception, killing, stealing, destroying. They want to watch the world burn. It hit me again this morning when I read a particular article I'm going to get to here in a moment that that's the globalist really are demon-possessed. I'm, 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 and again... I've never been, this has never been a heavy religious show. I am a Christian. I have a relationship with Jesus Christ, but I cover the news. But the more you study these people, it's really true. And I'm telling you, the elite have a Luciferian religion. They are not devil worshipers. They believe Lucifer is God. Now, it tends to be Satanists that serve them as their mid-level and then below that, compartmentalize people who actually mean well and are under peer pressure control. And then that's pretty much the power strategy of the pyramid is you've got those that actually believe the false lie, the deception, that give power to the, to the beast system. You've got the, the Satanist um, and, and, and then mercenaries and control freaks and sadist and uh, wicked people beneath that. And then at the top, the, uh, the very small core of the New World Order are de heavily deceived, but actually believe that they are bringing in this enlightened New Age world government to cleanse the earth of the human scourge, to reduce the majority of the world population, and to bring in the age of Lucifer, or the age of Aquarius. It's real. And whether some scientifically believe that the human brain has a sixth sense, it's been proven scientifically, but that it's actually broadcasting. You read the Bible, the Bible says that, that we're made in the image of God as creators, sub-creators. That's why we create, we build. But the devil is never a maker. He's a taker. He's a destroyer. And so that's the system that this dark global spirit energy force, whatever you want to call it, some would say it's manifested by bad people, and then it's like a group collective of evil fighting the group collective of good. That's kind of what the New Agers think. And see, they're deceived as well. It's much larger than that. And it is manifesting this system of destruction. And I'll give you an example of that. Uh, radiation levels across the world are going up, up, up. We're going to break that down on the other side. Stay with us. This conspiracy movement has in itself become a cult group that promotes, obviously, their own agenda right here at the end of his discussion of the horrible agenda of the what he calls the New World Order and the elite who worship, according to Alex Jones and to people like him, they worship this, this Lucifer slash Satan which is absolutely ridiculous when the global elite are Christians, Jews, and in some cases, of course, Muslims. It is the Abrahamic religions that are in power, not us Luciferians. There's a part where Alex Jones says that we're in control and that we're doing all these things when, it's in, when he's actually contradicting himself, where it's actually their side that's doing all of this. Alex Jones and people like him have built an empire on the idea that the Luciferian Gnostic elite are out to get you when in fact they're the ones who are building up a war to fight against each other 
and to fight us and to have witch hunts I mean, again. You don't get that at the top of the pyramid, you can smell the death. You can see it. Those of us, it's just like, oh, my God, the smoke coming out of it. I mean, I don't even want to get close to it. It just reeks of directly out of the pit of hell. I mean, death to this planet, engineered. This particular video has been published more recently, and, and I have, and for the past several years, been watching Jones uh, off and on, and he has become more and more like a Baptist chump. preacher over the years, especially Idiots after his divorce I mean, a couple they, years ago from his Jewish wife losers. because he was they cheating on his Jewish wife with a uh, reporter that is now part of his info wars. And what's currently happening, that this system will personally tear its minions to part because they're totally unprotected spiritually. I mean, I just don't know how they don't see the incredible peril they're in because they're such cowards. But they're so cowardly, they convince themselves they're safe when they're in the most dangerous position they could be in. Go ahead, my friend. Well, first of all, Alex, you know, I, I couldn't uh, agree more wholeheartedly. And even, even passages in the Old Testament talk about all these rich and powerful people when they are in hell and they see Lucifer there, too. And they're saying, is this a man that caused the nations to tremble, is inflamed? And people, you know, I, I got to tell you something. Assad of Syria is the only guy standing up for Christians. The point is, is that if you can't even put two and two together to equal four, we go into Iraq, we totally destabilize it. We go into Libya, we totally destroy it and destabilize it. We have destabilized, destabilized, but it all fits the plan of global upheaval. In that global upheaval, a, a, a Western nation that turned from fighting uh, 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 terrorism has now turned internal, and all of the terrorists are inside the gate. The barbarians are outside the gate, and what we're fighting for is the last life, the last husband who gets it, the last wife who gets it. We're saying, God, people, and I'm saying, I'm, I'm praying, not using the name of the Lord in vain. I'm saying, God, help the people's eyes to be open. They are the calling for war against each other, the Christians against the Muslims, the Abrahamic religions fighting in, in, each I'm other. Share this. I lay it out so clearly in Empire Beneath the Ice, how the Nazis won World War II. You cannot separate the darkest forces, everything that you consider evil, that you articulate as evil, you cannot separate that from what's going on in our government. And they brought it with Shelling the, the baby Egypt. parts, funding the radical ISIS to kill the Christians. You see, the, you see our government go out of its way to do evil things, even though it hurts the interest of those elites, because it's not about money. It is about prosecuting a war and an old score. And so it's ancient Russia, it's ancient Syria. Not that they're even perfect, but they know in the globalist plan they are slated for destruction, so they are fighting because well, they have not been fully taken under the spell of the New World Order. Let's go to some calls here. Very well said, Steve Quayle. Let's they are promoting this narrative that from Obama back in recent memory, the presidents and the administration and the government of the United States has been supporting a New World Order agenda started by the Luciferians and that now they're going to have themselves a savior, a savior figure to come in and save them from this New World Order. Well, I would say this, I would say that people need to understand the occult, the Luciferian agenda. You cannot, the, the Nazis opened the first stargates beyond the ancients, okay, in contemporary time, and people say, well, I don't believe in that. Well, it doesn't matter what you believe in. Every well, I think Putin has gone back to his, his Christian, when I say Christian, Russian Orthodox roots. I think he's shown remarkable restraint. I also believe that you've seen basically a topsy-turvy where, where the United States used to, quote, be uh, uh, Christian largely, you know, and no matter what the entity says, we were founded, at least on Christian principles. The idea is that Putin now has the head uh, priest of the Russian Orthodox Church blessing his men and blessing uh, their, their takeover. He knows he has to stand against the uh, Islamic hordes and invasion. Also, Alex, I, want, I, I go on record as stating this. Ten years ago, I said everything I got in, in prayer from the Lord over that decade ago was that America becomes a hissing and, and is held in total contempt around the world. That's what you're seeing right now. And, and that's we have crazy people running this country.
and they really are out to get anybody who's self-sufficient. I mean, that's what it comes down to. They want you under their cult control. Alex Jones said they want you under their occult control. It's actually reversed. Alex Jones and the likes are the ones who are creating this cult mindset. The Luciferians, uh, Gnostic Luciferians, essentially don't e exist, not the way Alex Jones and them say they exist. So we come out as, an, as a Gnostic Luciferian, what you're coming out as is something that is going to be despised by the world. Another popular YouTube channel is Mark Dice. He here talks about the movie Noah and how it is Gnostic, Gnostic Luciferian and how, of course, Hollywood is behind this whole evil Gnostic Luciferian agenda. Anything that does not follow the lines of their indoctrination by the Christian church must therefore be evil. The truth of the matter is Lucifer is a creation of the Christian church so that they could create an enemy that you're supposed to be against. Of course, as we all know, that the whole idea of Lucifer being an entity comes from Isaiah chapter 14 and is never, ever compared to Satan anywhere in the Bible. Russell Crowe's popular film Noah is not only wildly inaccurate and has virtually nothing to do with the biblical story of Noah, the Ark, the Great Flood, etc., but the movie is actually a cleverly designed piece of Illuminati Gnostic Kabbalah propaganda designed to pave the path for the coming day when the elite Illuminati will literally announce that they worship Lucifer, Satan, and herald in the arrival of the Antichrist. Oh, you think that's just something that you would see on a conspiracy YouTube channel or a conspiracy website? I would really like someone to explain to me why someone like Mark Dice, who's a secular YouTube YouTuber, why he's talking about the Antichrist and why he's talking about things from from the Bible in his in his video. It's it's nonsense. As you can see from the number of views and number of subs that these people have, they are not being persecuted. This nonsense. Next, we will be talking about a Christian, Mario, whose channel is called The Vigilant Christian. As you can see here from the screenshot, this is what I got when I typed in uh, Gnostic Luciferian into his channel. He has quite a following on YouTube, as does many of these Christians who speak out against Gnostic Luciferianism. I will give Mario props that he does understand what Gnostic Luciferians believe. However, he cast it in the most evil, most horrible light that he possibly can. None of these Christians are interested in coexisting with Gnostic Luciferians. None of them. They will will, at one point, come against Gnostic Luciferianism. It is evil as far as they're concerned. The wonderful Christian Mario starts this video, by the way, with a commercial for IBM. When I see things like that, I wonder just who sponsored Jesus Christ ministry. Hey everyone, it's the Vigilant Christian Mario, and you're here for another edition of Illuminati Media Exposed. In today's video, I'm going to be exposing the most satanic antichrist Illuminati movie I've ever exposed on this YouTube channel. Yeah, it's the Lego movie. It was absolutely used by the Illuminati to preach their satanic Gnostic Luciferian gospel to our children in a subconscious way. And by the end of this video, I'm going to show you that. And if you're still in denial, you are just simply willingly ignorant and don't want to see what's right in front of your eyes. And finally, to end up this video that's taken us several hours to make, we are going to show you a video by our good friend, Grant Norman, who has been in our lives as a thorn in our sides for some time now. He has um, harassed us for three years. He's actually known me longer than Shindo. 
So he's given me a lot of hell for a long time. <laughs> He had a he had a channel called Mr. Uh, Trot to Hot, and that channel was taken down because of multiple um, multiple pu uh, publishing copyright strikes. So we'll let him explain to you just how we met, and he has this up along with others. He has a playlist devoted just to us on his channel, John Lockett, and his channel, Mr. Step in Time. Um, hello, YouTubers. Um, I've got uh, something which I consider very serious to talk about today. Um, just recently, I um, put up three, I did three videos concerning this man, Shindu. He used to be called Entropy 666, but he changed his name to Shindu. His now wife is called Lucifera, uh, Lucifera Morningstar, the Rising Phoenix. And but both these two people, they're now husband and wife. When I fir first met Lucy, which is short for Lucifer, she was single. Entropy 666 came along after I was witnessing to her and he didn't like that and um, he started telling Lucy that I was in love with her and all these absolute blatant lies. It's just sickening but she, she's starting to believe this and um, anyway so the story goes. Anyway he ended up marrying this woman up that I was witnessing to and they work as a team now and they absolutely hate me. They have performed many satanic rituals on me and uh, tried to murder me through these. They're actually responsible for the death of my friend because um, um, he, was a, he was a lovely man. He was one of the most loved men on YouTube and um, he was the only one that defended me against these people when they attacked me. He, he said to me, he said, Gra, he says, that Shindu Entropy 666 guy just came to my channel and said these terrible things about you. And um, I told him where to go and a few other things as well to get lost. You were lying and he insulted him um, because he, and this guy, because he was um, insulting, you know, make, he was belittling me. And uh, I think the next day he was dead. This is very serious, people, and I have um, I'm trying to um, warn people about this this man and woman team, and the dangers of these people, and coming in contact with these people, and uh, so far, every effort I have made um, to try and warn people about these two, they get me, and I've they get me on copyright. They're important videos. They get me on copyright, and I'm anyway. I'm going to um, look into this. I have, I've given up on YouTube. They re, they have done nothing, absolutely nothing, to help. They don't care. Well, well, I'm going to tell you, YouTube. You're going to care very shortly, because once I get all my get all the information and the little files sorted out on these two people. Everything I've got, most of it listed now, or dated. I'm going to file a suit because you failed to to protect the people on my channel, my viewers, and um, it's not going on anymore. I've contacted YouTube so many times, people, so many times, and these two people that keep attacking my channel, which they have for the last two and a half years keep on coming up with different aliases, different names. They come across as Christian women with Christian pictures of women, everything. They answer their own questions. They use my avatar. They set up channels identical to mine. They are criminals of the worst kind and extremely dangerous, extremely dangerous. If you're a lukewarm Christian, do not um, talk to these people. Do not have a picture of yourself in an avatar talking to them. Keep well away from these two people. The law 
doesn't understand black magic, witchcraft, or anything like that. They want facts. And witchcraft uses demons. They send demons to people to attack them unexpectedly. And if you're lukewarm, Satan is just waiting around the corner in the shadows to attack you. Those demons are going to go somewhere if, some, if they, these two send you a curse. And they've done this many times to me. Anyway, I'm not going to go into exactly that. But uh, what I've done in this video, I, they've, they've actually copyrighted me on my two videos uh, warning you. This is what YouTube does. You know, you try and warn people about the dangers of these people they leave and these two stay up their channels haven't been touched but they take my they've taken my channel down my trot to hot channel down which was an excellent channel which they're going to go to <laughs> justice is coming youtube justice is coming you just wait and see what i've got planned for you anyway um this video i've they've, they've, they've copyrighted me on the warning videos concerning these two people so I've only got 15 minutes. I have put up, I've got to go pretty quick now, otherwise I won't get it all in, uh, All the some of the comments. This is just a few of the threats over the two and a half years of these two people coming across as different aliases and different people, plus impersonating me to attack me and threaten my life. And um, this video is what it's about. And, I'm going to, and separately, I'm going to put up information on another video because I want these two arrested. I want to report them to what in your country, the USA, to your local sheriff. And uh, so I can communicate with the sheriff in their area. I do not know where they live at this present time. I'm sure YouTube isn't going to give it out to me. So anyway, I'll go into that later in another video, but not on this one. The last thing I want is to copyright, copyright me on another video. But even if they did, I'm going to the police, YouTube. If you do, you do it one more time. You take down this video, I'm going to go to the police. That's it. Done. I'm fed up. Useless. Anyway, people, um, you're going to see some of the comments that these people leave to me and what I have to put, I've had to put up with for two and a half years of abuse, psychological abuse from these two people, these two Satanists, because that's what they are. That's what the Bible, anyone that conjures up demons and things like that is a Satanist. And they can say they're Luciferians or whatever they like, Buddhist, Christian, whatever. They are Satanists. They are their father, the devil, and his things they will do. And now I'm listing up with this, just a few of the comments of their hate towards me and other Christians. And you just have a, and you have a, and uh, people, I'm warning you. The, my channels have all been compromised. They had there's double channels up there. Do not be fooled. Use common sense. If you see a comment from me that looks like mine and doesn't make any sense or it's threatening you or something, go to that channel, click on the icon, click on that name, and you'll find that channel has got no views or very few views and it doesn't even make sense that a Christian would say such a thing. Use some common sense. Don't come back and abuse me. Use some common sense. Okay, anyway, enough for now. I'm not sure how much time i got left, so... Yes, I'm running out of time. Okay, that's it for now. Goodbye, YouTubers. Thank you. God bless you all.